So in this section, we'll be using a five-point checklist to evaluate the credibility of a website. Gauging the reliability of a source is especially important for stuff you'll be pulling up using Google or Wikipedia. So here we are back in Google with our search results. I'm going to pull up the first one we have here, which is an article from a blog called neuroanthropology.net. And if you want to establish the authority of your website, really what you're trying to do is can you identify the author and what are the author's credentials? In this case, there's an About Neuroanthropology page, and I can pull up and find that, yes, Greg and Daniel are PhDs in anthropology, both working in universities, one in Australia, one in the United States. So I'm pretty confident about the authority of this particular site. Next question is about the currency of the site. Basically, when was the last time this website was updated? Uh, I'm going to go to the home page for neuroanthropology, and I can quickly determine this is a blog, and it was updated in January 7th of 2010, which is, as of this recording, was just a couple of days ago. So this is a pretty up-to-date website. Next question, what's the purpose of the website? Uh, is it educational, commercial? Are they trying to be entertain you? And most importantly, are they trying to sell you something here? Um, it's pretty evident that this particular site is educational in nature. Uh, it was created as an exchange between scientists. So I know I'm not being sold something, and the purpose is educational. Is your website informed by fact, opinion, or propaganda? What's the point of view of the author? Um, in my case, this particular website is what I would call informed opinion, uh, and that they do criticize some of the arguments made, but for the most part, it is very impartial. And finally, accuracy of details. Is the information well researched? Are the sources listed um, authoritative, and is there a bibliography? In my case, um, there's not actually much going on in the way of actual claims being made. It's a review article, um, so they're not anything in the way of citations. But if there are claims being made in your website, uh, make sure that those sources are listed and there is a bibliography and you can track down the footnotes.